Hello, my name is Ali from Come to Persia, a travel company based in Yaz, Iran. Today I'm going to talk about the Iranian tourist visa. Many travelers think that getting the Iranian tourist visa is difficult, but in this video you will see how easy the process actually is. All nationalities except people from Israel can apply for Iranian tourist visa. If you are from one of these listed countries, you don't have to apply for Iranian tourist visa. You can see the allowed duration that you can stay in the country. Free zones. Kish and Kesh are two beautiful islands in Persian Gulf that you can visit for the maximum stay of 14 days without needing a visa. Now let's go through the step-by-step -step process of the Iranian tourist visa. Before that, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and click on the notification button so that later you will be notified when we post new videos. There are two ways that you can apply for an Iranian tourist visa. Number one, direct application. You can go to www.e-visa.mfa.ir and submit your visa application to Ministry of Foreign Affairs, which we do not recommend it, because we see many cases being rejected and upon rejection they were asked to attempt via a reliable travel agency. Indirect application. You can trust a travel agency to submit your visa application to Ministry of Foreign Affairs. These are the documents that you should email to the travel agency. Filled out Iranian visa form. The blank form is sent to you by the agency. There is an important section in the form which asks you where you wish to collect your visa. You have two options. One. You can nominate any Iranian embassy or consulate. 2. You can collect your visa at the airport. The second option is recommended because it's much easier than the hassle of going to the embassy. You should also take into account that visa on arrival is as safe as picking up the visa at the embassy. A digital image of first page of your passport. Your digital image of your passport must be in color and clear, and all characters must be readable. Please be noted that your passport should be valid at least six months after your actual arrival date. A digital personal photo. Your digital image of your personal photo must be in color and taken in front of a plain white or off-white background. Photos digitally scanned from driver's licenses or other official documents are not acceptable. In addition, snapshots, magazine photos, low-quality vending machine or mobile phone photos, and full-length photographs are not acceptable. Travel Itinerary It's needed only if you have already made travel arrangements. So after you have emailed the documents to the travel agency, they will submit your visa application to Ministry of Foreign Affairs. In the following three to five working days, the agency receives your visa authorization number. This means your visa application has been approved by Ministry of Foreign Affairs and now you're ready to collect your visa either from the embassy or on arrival at the airport known as VOA. To collect your visa from the embassy or consulate, keep your printed authorization number plus your passport with you. You will be asked to fill out the visa form there. The good news is right after you present the documents to the officer and you pay the visa fee there, they will issue your visa within a few minutes or few hours. I suggest you to call the embassy in advance and ask them the right time to go and make sure if they need any extra documents. Visa on arrival, VOA. The nationals from these countries cannot go through the VOA process and they have to collect their visa from the embassy or consulate. Also, journalists and reporters who travel to Iran on mission cannot get a VOA either. To collect your visa from the airport, keep your printed authorization number, your passport, travel insurance and the visa fee which should be paid only in cash. 
The point is the non-Iranian cards like Master or Visa cards do not work in Iran and you need the cash for the whole trip. Travel Insurance If you already have a travel insurance plan, make sure that Iran is included in its coverage and the name Iran must be mentioned. Otherwise, you can buy the insurance upon your arrival at the airport, which is approximately 15 euros per person. Visa fees There are two fees to be paid for the visa. One is for the authorization number application, which is paid to the travel agency. Second is for visa itself, which you pay at the place of your visa collection. The amount of visa depends on one's nationality and it ranges from 30 to 75 euros. Visa validity and extension The maximum validity of travelers stay with tourist visa is 30 days and it's regarded as single entry. To stay longer, the visa should be extended. Once you have traveled to Iran, you can extend your visa a total of two times, each for 30 days. This means you can stay a maximum of 90 days in Iran. In order to extend the visa time limit, the applicant should visit the passport and immigration office located in many major cities and it will cost less than 10 euros. At the end of this video, I would like to add two more points. One, some travelers are concerned about the Trump order in March 2017 restricting travel to the U.S. for those who have visited Iran in addition to Libya, Somalia, Sudan, Syria, and Yemen. The good news is to alleviate the travelers' concerns over the U.S. sanctions on individuals visiting Iran, the passports of travelers entering Iran will not be stamped. The stamp will be on a separate document, so no one will ever find out that they've been to Iran. 2. Everyone with an Israel stamp in their passport within the past 12 months is at a high risk of getting rejected. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please check out our website at cometopergia.com. If you have any questions, you can write in the comments and I will answer them. We are looking forward to seeing you here in Iran. Bye for now.